at home with Lucas here. So today we're gonna to be talking about the JBL Live Pro 2 earbuds. Yes, people, I finally got my hands on some Live Pro 2 earbuds by JBL. I'm super excited to be putting these bad boys to the At Home Lucas test. These things have an amazing 40 hour battery life that's case and earbuds combined. These things also have some really cool tech up their sleeve. They have ambient sound. They also have true adaptive noise cancellation, which we're gonna be putting to the test for sure. Not to mention the fact that each earbud has three microphones, making a total of six microphones for the earbuds themselves, giving them the ability to cancel out the world around you and only hear your voice. And these are not normal microphones. These are called beam forming microphones. Yes, that's gonna give you some amazing ability to do streaming, to do phone calls, to do anything where you're recording your voice through these earbuds. Not to mention the fact that they have this sick, amazing JBL app that gives you the ability to customize the EQ settings and all kinds of other fun stuff right through the app. And of course, get software updates. So in this video, we're doing a hands-on with the box, quick unboxing and first impressions on said JBL earbuds. After that, I'm gonna be putting these bad boys to the Atom Lucas test to figure out, are these the JBL buds for you or are they something you should skip entirely? I'm here for you, so I have to waste your time buying and returning. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, let's take a closer look at these bad boys right quick. So this is the JBL by Harman. There is an image of what's to come in the box. 40 hours of battery life, that's 10 hours in the earbuds, 30 hours in the case. All right, let's go ahead and get inside this box. Oh, wow, that's pretty cool, people. You can actually see the silver buds in there they look metallic and pretty awesome i have to say let's go ahead and get this bad boy further unboxed all right there's the bad buds right there people looking super awesome i will say that the the metallic over here on this side definitely loses me a little bit on this portion here because you're dealing with some uh, kind of cheap looking silver for sure but nonetheless, there's the buds right there. They look like they're gonna fit in the ear really, really solid, and I'm very excited about that. Usually when an earbud has a shaft down uh, the side of it, that means it's going to balance well. Now what I mean by that is it's going to lock in the ear and there's gonna be enough weight on the bottom and on the top that it should lock into place and give you no problem when you're doing sport activities. All right, let's go and walk around this bad boy real quick. So you got the charging pads right there. It looks like you have a port right there. You got another port over there. At the bottom down here, you have the most beefy, most badass looking microphone port I've ever seen on any earbuds. That is actually really, really awesome. And then it looks like there's another port tucked away down there. So there are ports on ports on ports, people, which is really, really awesome. JBL is very good at making good microphones and sound drivers. And it looks like we got some ovals. Wow, look at that shimmering oval port right there. That is awesome looking, very, very sleek. Uh, first impressions, I'm gonna say that this, this silver here is looking a little cheap. It doesn't look premium. I kinda wish the entire bud was this metallic right here. They're not super heavy, which is great. All right, let's take a look at the case itself. So the case is actually, I think, soft touch, people. This is the first case that I've ever dealt with that is soft touch, uh, and I don't know how that's gonna hold up over time. It may become something that's really uh, annoying if it gets uh, sweaty in your pocket or something, but let's go ahead and flip this open one-handed style, see how well the clamshell opens. <laughs> it does not open well at all. All right, let's go and walk around this case. You got your three indicator stripes right there, looking very much like Adidas. In the back, you have your USB-C charging port, which you shouldn't have to use very often because of how much battery life you have going on. All right, there we go, we got it open. There are the stripes right there. Uh, very nice, this looks like it's gonna be super easy to drop your buds in there. All right, let's do the maiden voyage and drop them in. Boom, super, super simple. Boom, super simple. I wouldn't have thought anything less. That is really, really awesome, definitely 
goes in there. Let's see how easily they come out. Very easily. I'm doing this all one-handed. Super easily. That is really awesome. Let's go ahead and open this up again. So it looks like one-handed mode. You're going to have to go from the side is what I'm finding, uh, which is not terrible, but it's also uh, a little bit of a design flaw for this case. It should be able to be opened one-handed no matter what. Uh, so there you go. Whoopsies. So there you go, uh, five out of five stars for how easy it is to put in and take out. Uh, the case itself is unknown. I won't know how well it is until I get into the reviewing of it, um, but it's really nice in the hands so far. That is premium, very premium, and it should be because of the price tag. So these are not cheap earbuds by any means. I'm really hoping that I get this bizarre premium sounding uh, drivers that I've never heard before, but I don't have high hopes. I think these are going to sound really great and they're definitely going to hit up to the premium section, but we won't know until we get into this review, people. Okay, I don't know why, but I get excited when I open up an app with new headphones and boom, there's a software update. So we're going to click on that right there. It's version 6.60. All right. So we have active noise canceling on ambient aware. Sounds pretty good. Talk through. The main thing I need is the button pressing. Here we go. Ambient sound is on the left. So I should be able to turn that on. Cool. Okay. So there we go. So now during the run, I'm going to be doing noise canceling on ambient aware when I'm on a busy road. So I can hear the cars and then noise canceling when I'm on a road that I don't need ambient aware. There we go, perfect. Okay, just got these bad buds locked into place. They are looking super shimmery and super awesome. Uh, we're gonna be going for a four mile run. So we're gonna put these to the bounce test. And as you know, running is jumping in motion. So we're gonna see, do these actually lock into place? And we're gonna see how immersed we can get in our running. And then we're gonna adjust for all the other stuff like noise canceling and all that fun stuff while we're running. So let's go ahead and put these bad buds to the run test. Okay, these things definitely performed really well if you turn the active noise canceling off, which is awesome. So once you turn it off, you're actually able to stop all the wind noise from coming in, and then you can just simply tap it, turn it back on if you're on a busy road so you can hear all the cars, which is awesome. So really phenomenal that you have three different settings. You can hear the world around you. You can cancel out the world around you, but still hear the wind, and then you can turn everything off and it works perfectly. Um, they're also super comfortable in the ear, didn't fall out once, locked into place, you kind of forget they're there. And then of course the sound quality is awesome. I listened to the music and I did a podcast, so big thumbs up for the run test. Okay, I'm fully suited up and ready to go on a 35 plus mile bike ride. I got these things locked into place. We're gonna be putting these to the wind test. So cycling is very windy. We're gonna be putting these on active noise cancellation when we're on slow roads where there's no cars. We're gonna throw it onto ambient noise so we can hear the world around us, hear the cars when we're on busy roads. And then of course, we're gonna try to turn everything off and see if we don't get bothered by the wind. So let's go ahead and jump into this bike ride, people. Woo! Okay, so this is what it's gonna sound like if you're trying to make a phone call and it's super, super windy or you're in a super loud environment. This is what it's gonna sound like. It looks like it's peaking really loud. It looks like it's picking up my voice really clearly. Okay, these things perform really nicely. Once you put the noise canceling off, you have to turn everything off, then you don't hear any of the wind noise. If any of the microphones are on while cycling, it sounds absolutely terrible, which is basically standard. So good thing these things can turn off. They're super comfortable in the ear, totally lock into place. Have not had any problems at all with them falling out or getting loose or anything. They're super comfortable too. They don't hurt the ear at all. Zero glitches, um, totally immersed in my podcast and my music that I'm listening to. So definitely passed the long C 
cycling test. Okay, we're going to be putting these earbuds to the mow, trim, and blow test. I got my mower, trimmer, blower right there. They're all electric, but they're quite loud. I actually turned on Bluetooth microphones. So these are the microphones that are running right now. So this will give you a good understanding of how well these microphones cancel out noise when you're in a loud environment or if you're doing landscaping, you're on the mower, you need to take a phone call. This is going to help you out to choose these or skip them and go with something else. Let's jump into that. Okay, so here you go. You should be able to hear my voice clearly and not hear the mower at all. This mower is quite loud. It's not as loud as a gas mower, but it's definitely loud enough to need noise canceling microphones and noise canceling headphones to make phone calls or listen to podcasts. So as we know, noise canceling is real simple. It just basically takes the noise that is coming in to the earbud and then it tries to play the same exact tone in order to cancel out that noise. So right now it should be playing a noise similar to a lawnmower. The tone at least to cancel out that noise. Okay, and this is what it's gonna sound like if you're edging and you're trying to make a phone call or you're live streaming, then this is gonna be how well these microphones cancel out the trimmer noise and only capture your voice. Once again, I switched the microphone on the camera to Bluetooth, so it's only recording through these Bluetooth earbuds. Okay, here we go. This is the loudest of the trio right here. This is the blower. If you can hear my voice, that is amazing. I'm pretty sure this thing is broken. It is screaming loud, probably 10 times louder than a backpack blower. So, yeah, very, very loud. Just finished mowing, trimming, and blowing the backyard with these bad boys. Um, once again, super comfortable. They definitely get annoying when you're doing uh, noise canceling. So I actually turned that completely off and then it was fine. Um, they don't cancel out some really loud popping noises from the trimmer when it hits stuff. So, uh, but other than that, the blowing and the mowing was perfectly fine with the noise canceling on. So that was awesome. It just basically fades everything down uh, to where it kind of sounds like you're underwater a little bit. It's really interesting, um, but definitely canceled out the noise. So. One thumb up, just not two thumbs up for the noise canceling on these bad boys while I listen to my podcast and mowed the backyard. Okay, let's go through this app real quick because it has some stuff in it that's really cool. So you start off by being able to see the battery percentage of the left earbud, the right earbud, and your case, which is really, really awesome. Then you can jump into here and manually control ambient aware or your talk through, or your noise canceling. Now here's the coolest part of these earbuds, I think, is you could do an ear canal test right here. Okay, so I'm not in a noisy environment, so it's not gonna work. So I'm actually gonna start making noise snapping my fingers, I'm talking really loud, and we'll just see exactly what happens. Yeah, so once again, I'm not in a loud environment. So this is crazy though. So if you're on an airplane, if you're in a loud mall, if you're in a loud environment and you want to actually get the best noise canceling, you jump into here and you start this test. It's absolutely amazing. I did it while I was cycling and it really helped out a lot. So this is really, really cool right here. Then you have your EQ settings, which is really awesome. You could jump into here and you can change some of the presets or you can make your own, which is really awesome. Make this completely customized. And then of course you can customize the gestures. So if you don't want ambient aware to ever come on, you can go into here and turn that off and whatnot. So that's awesome. Then you have the ability to have your voice aware really low, medium, or high, and then you could change it from audio mode to video mode. So video mode is gonna basically be a little bit less of a latency, so it's gonna be a low latency, but if you're paired up to a TV and you're like 30 feet away, you may have some glitching problems, so you need to be close to your device while you use video mode, which I found to be really awesome. It helps with lip sync as well, so if you have lip sync issues, 
jump into here, switch to video mode, cross your fingers that it works. And then of course you come down here, you could turn on your voice assistant so you can select your voice assistant, which is nice. And then you can of course uh, check for best fit. So this is another thing that's really, really cool. So it's going to play a tone to make sure that your earbuds are sealed in the ear. And there we go. We have a good seal from left and right. So that'll tell you whether you need to switch it to a larger ear tip or a smaller one. So that's really cool. And then of course you can jump into here and you can check to see if your software is up to date, which is really fun. So there you go. That is the earbud app in a quick snapshot. And of course you can turn your buds off. All right, now we're gonna be putting these bad boys to the iPod test, people. So we're gonna be listening to some straight up music from a wide variety of genres on the iPod to see how premium these drivers are and how much they pack a punch. Also, we wanna know how they work on iOS devices. And this is gonna tell us if the volume is high, medium, or low. Some earbuds, they run low and you cannot get them past a certain volume. So we're hoping that we're gonna be able to control the earbuds and get the best sound quality. Let's jump into that, people. Woo! Wow, these things pack a serious punch. When you get the right song and the right sound profile, you're just absolutely blown away. Super, super loud. I had to turn the iPod down so low. It was insane. These things are screaming loud. Definitely premium oval drivers. The 11 millimeter drivers definitely pack a serious punch. Big two thumbs up for the iPod test. I've been using these bad boys for long enough that I think I have a full star rating. Let's just start off with the case. So once again, I did not have the privilege of dropping this bad boy, nor did I have the privilege of charging it. I use this thing a lot and I did not burn through the 40 hours of battery in the case slash earbuds. But in the time that I did test it for about two weeks, this these earbuds performed really well. They definitely have some aspects to them that's premium. They definitely have some aspects to them that I would say is not premium and definitely is something that they could work on. The noise canceling is not the best of the best of the best. Um, it's definitely one of those things where the wind just kills these microphones, which is so strange because it cancels out the world around it so well when you're recording through the microphone. Uh, the sound quality is phenomenal. JBL really hit it out of the park with these over um, drivers right here and this oval is supposed to give you a better sound in the ear which is absolutely amazing um, but all in all I'm going to say that these are a great buy um, don't buy them in silver they look really cheap and really fake um, buy them in another color and you'll be very happy uh, but I'm going to give these things a solid 4.7 star rating. I'm going to say that they're definitely worth your time. They're definitely worth your money. Um, and you're going to get some really good sound quality. You're going to get some good features. All right, there you go. That's the JBL Live Pro 2 earbuds. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely click to click that like bucket. <clears throat> that like button and smash that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.